Yeah, way out of the Gulf of Mexico, but not on any kind of a vacation. I mean, this is unbelievable. A rare broadcast exclusive look on literally one of the biggest oil platforms in the world. And the CEO of Shell telling us a couple weeks ago that this is a big boys game. Everything about the offshore world is big and it's expensive. Let's put it into context. Okay, this is called the Olympus platform. It's sister, by the way. This is basically what we're on is over there. That's the Mars platform. They're over a billion dollars. We are over 200 feet above the water right here. The well goes down 3,000 feet, more than a half a mile down into the Gulf of Mexico, and the drilling tower up another couple hundred feet. I mean, heck, just to get on this platform, we came in on the biggest commercial helicopter in the United States. Look at that landing, by the way, stuck to landing. Everything about the offshore world is big, and the investment dollars are starting to come back in a big way, guys. I mean, for years after oil collapsed, nobody wanted anything to do with the deep water because everything you do out here, I mean, just getting the garbage off is expensive. And so investment dollars, they didn't collapse, but they slowed down dramatically. Now that the price of oil, guys, has certainly come back up, Shell, in a big way, $3 billion over five years, and others investing a lot. I know it's hard to see. There's a couple of rigs. So this is a production platform. This is 100,000 barrels a day. Put that into context. Two million gallons of gasoline from this platform everyday equivalent. That one way in the distance, that's actually where they're drilling a new well. So this is producing and drilling. That's drilling. A lot of investment guys, more than 50 different companies, over 15 publicly traded companies are represented on this platform alone. Schlumberger, Halliburton, Weatherford, you name it, and they're here. Pretty amazing day way out here in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, Brian, I would think that the investment ability of companies might be capped because there can only be so many uh, platforms out there, or are there? No, there are. So it's a very good question. So here, here's how it works. You get a lease. The leases come up for bid twice a year. If you're the high bidder, if anybody wants it. Now, for years, people didn't, people didn't bid at all, or there weren't a lot of bidders out there. We had Exxon come back to market in August. BHP Billiton, the big Australian company, they've actually taken a couple of leases. You have 10 years to develop it. It's three miles wide by three miles long. So basically, that's your nine square mile area. So if you don't, if you don't develop it, it goes back to the federal government. Remember, 12% of all the oil that comes off this platform is sold, is given to the federal government in exchange for the leases. That's how the taxpayer actually makes money off the oil platform.